All right, hello hey. everyone. Hi, how's it going? And here you go, Pam. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, well, hello and welcome. Uh, this is our Symphony of the Cells workshop um, here in Calgary with our friends and live on, on Facebook. And if you're watching uh, the recording later or on YouTube, um, my name is Amy Glenn, and I'm really excited to share with you guys tonight. Um, I actually attended the Symphony of the Cells workshop. It's a training, kind of like the Aroma Touch, but different, uh, in September, uh, convention week. And it was amazing. It was a full day. Um, so I want to say it was like eight or nine hours, and it was a full day. Like, <laughs> I mean, convention week is already really loaded and busy, and we're learning a lot, and, and it's just information overload. But I decided, for whatever reason, to schedule this. Well, for good reason, I was already there. But um, and and it was a really really cool class. So um, tonight, is Symphony of the Cells. Symphony of the Cells is an essential oil application, and it's. Um, it's not the Aroma Touch. It's different than the Aroma Touch, um, but I like it because, okay, I'll give you my main reasons. <laughs> Number one, um, the Aroma Touch is awesome and I love it. And it's not really that hard. I feel like anybody can learn it, but not everybody's ready to learn fancy moves and go to six hour training to figure it out or even just watch a demo, right? It's 45 minutes and, it, and, it, and there's that. But Symphony of the Cells takes about 15 minutes. It's really fast and really accessible. The other thing that I like about it um, is you were able to get really specific about the oils that we're using and the body systems that we're looking at supporting. Yeah, and that's all different protocols. For exactly. Them, right? like you can really get specific. Exactly. Bingo. Yeah. So for me, that's why I like it. Um, the moves are, it, it, they're not moves. It's like, put the oils on the back, put the oils on the feet, smell the oils, put them on your heart. Like it's, it's really, 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 really simple. Um, so anybody can do it. So, so that's in a nutshell kind of why I like it. Um, both, I mean, I, again, I love the Aroma Touch. I'm an instructor, obviously I love it. And I, I use it all the time and see the benefits in myself and other people. This is just another essential oil application. So tonight, I wanted to share with you some of the highlights from the, the, the class that I took. Um, I mean, again, this was like eight or nine hours. It's a full day, so I'm not even going to be able to cover, you know, a, a slice of it. <laughs> but just some of the stuff, the fundamental stuff to kind of set this up. And then um, what I'm going to do is I, each of you here, we have a, and online, I'll just tell you, you, <laughs> you won't get this because you're not here, but this is, you can find this online. It's a Symphony of the Cells Trifold, and you can, you can get this online. It's really easy. But we're going to cover the intro number one and intro number two. These are both protocols that are new. And the reason why I like these two is because anyone who has the top 10 oils could do these two protocols. Most of the other Symphony of the Cells protocols branch off into really cool oils. And I mean, I've got all the oils and I love them, you know, like pink pepper and copaiba and like all these really cool things. But if you're just a beginner and you're just starting off, you can have a protocol to just get started right away if you have a home essentials kit. All right. So that's what we're going to cover tonight in a little bit. I'm going to do a demo um, on my husband. <laughs> He's a little bit embarrassed <laughs> to take his shirt off in front of a bunch of women, but he's agreed. <laughs> unless, he, unless he changes his mind. <laughs> um, the other thing I wanted to say is, um, so obviously that trifold you can get online, but you can get all of this stuff online. Um, there's a, there's a full on workbook journal that, that takes you through all the protocols. This one is like really, really super in depth, but this application book is really kind of all you need to get started. It's very, very, it's just small. It's little and very teeny and really easy to use. It has all the protocols in it just at a glance, just really, really fast. I like the journal because it's, it has a lot more information and you can track the different people that you've been working on. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just a little bit more in depth is all, but the, all the protocols are here. You're not missing the actual protocols. Okay. Can you get them on a Roma tour? Ooh, it? you know what? I think I saw it recently at Oil Life online. Oil? And um, Symphony of the Cells has their own website. Okay. Yeah. And that's the best place, by the way, to find out where Boyd Truman's um, workshops are. And, and Boyd Truman is the, the creator. Yeah. Um, Boyd, just really quickly about him. He's been in doTERRA since, gosh, since the beginning. I want to say 
probably 10 or 11, maybe even 11 years. Um, he has decades of experience as a massage therapist and he, um, he, he's a great guy. Um, I really like him, but he has a wealth of knowledge. You know, he, um, I could listen to him talk about anything because he just, it's not just surface stuff. It's always, it's like listening to Dr. Hill. <laughs> you know, every time I walk away, I'm like, holy cow, I had no idea about all of that. You know, it's just, it's really amazing. So, um, oh, so, so there's the big journal, there's the, the application book. And then the other thing I wanted to show you really quick is, um, body systems. This is, um, just a, a little fold out. I don't know what you'd call it. And um, it shows through, it goes through all of the major body systems and all of the essential oils, basically that um, that Boyd uses for all of the applications. Okay, all right. So I want to get right into it. Um, just a few foundational things, just overall health. Okay, and these are just some of the things that stood out to me. I mean, again, so much awesome information. Um, that day he talked, he started off by talking about the central nervous system, about how our nerves can really be compared to a computer's hardware, okay? Um, this day and age we live, we unfortunately, we treat our bodies as though it's an experimental mechanism, right? Like, what can I get away with and still be okay? <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, instead of an electric-based organism. And I really like that. I hadn't heard that before, an electric-based organism. So um, all of the parts, it's a living matrix, um, are in intimate and precise relationship with water. So all of the parts of our body, basically, are, it, they're all dependent upon water. Um, we know how much, how important just drinking our water every day is. If, if you have clean water, the electrical field in your body works better. <laughs> um, another thing that I found really interesting is, this is just a side note, essential oils don't work well in a toxic environment. So I've seen every now and then I'll see somebody who's very reactive. It's, it's rare that people have skin reactions, um, but usually it's because there is a lot going on in the body. And usually that means it needs to start with a detox. Um, the boy does say, by the way, um, if, if ever you are um, in a very sensitive state to move to internal use um, immediately and, and take a break from external if that happens to be you, if you happen, happen to be sensitive. It's rare, but it can happen, right? I've had um, sensitivities to oils for short periods of time. And when that happens, I just take a break. Um, as a little side note, I've heard Dr. Hill say, what you can do um, to reintroduce an oil after you've taken a break is to just put a couple drops on a cotton ball, put it on the big, in the big toe of your shoe and, and wear that for a few days and then reintroduce the oil after, after you've taken a break. And that's worked really well for me. So um, hydration. So back to hydration. Um, when we are newborns, our body is comprised 78% of water, 78%. When we're one year old, it drops to 65% just after one year. Men, on average, 60% of their body is comprised of water and women, 55%. And elderly, 50% water. Really interesting, right? Which makes sense. You need water. Like you think about the eyesight tends to go later, <laughs> right? And you think, well, everything's kind of dries up, starts to dry out a little bit. The skin dries, you know, all of, the, all of these things, right? Um, easiest foods to process. He talks um, about fruits and vegetables. That's a no-brainer. I think we all know that. Um, the hardest things to process are heavy metals, right? <laughs> heavy metals, whatever we give our body, actually, whatever we give our body comes out 24 to 48 hours later, okay? Um, so all of this tells us pay attention to the laws of health or we will lose our health, right? Okay. Um, Metabolism, oh, this is doc, Dr. Mark Hyman. Um, for those of you who are familiar with him, um, while weight loss is important, what's more important is the quality of food you put in your body. Food is the information that quickly changes your metabolism and genes. It literally changes your genetic makeup. Yeah, interesting, hey? Now about di the digestive system really quickly. Um, digestive is 70 to 80% 
of our immune system is held within the gut. Mm -hmm. Okay. Second exactly. Second brain. You literally are what you eat, right? Mm -hmm. So whatever you put in your body, it becomes you. So don't feed your body garbage. <laughs> um, some other interesting things that stood out to me, 90% 90, 90 of the people who have autoimmune diseases are women. 90%. Really? Yeah, I can see that. Fascinating. The number, I think, yes, of all the people I know, they're all women. I wonder if that's why. Right. And then. And then that manifests as fun things. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's that. But then he also said, could it be the products that women put on themselves? Oh, yeah. Right? Is there a correlation? There absolutely is. I don't know how it all breaks down, yeah. but it's interesting. Yeah, right? We do mm -hmm. tend to use more products mm -hmm. than men. Exactly. Exactly. Because then we live more. And I just watched a documentary on Saturday. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen it, but I've heard of things about it. Amazing. Yeah. It's amazing about the power of, of the yeah. Health. yeah. And actually, the example of the immune, immune disease, immune system. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's super interesting. Oh, watch gosh. It. oh, okay, okay, I will. Yeah, yeah, I've heard good things about heal. it. Heal, heal, yeah. It's on Netflix. Yeah, well, then I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> it is fascinating. <laughs> um, so essential oils help to um with with that alkaline balance. So so we and we know that right. The average American puts 168 unique chemicals on their bodies every. Day. 168. You can see that though, like the ingredients on just the number of ingredients. To a toner. Has exactly. 20 things. Or hair well, products. And right? anytime it says fragrance, it has way more than 20 because fragrance can be 30 things just on its own. They don't have to disclose they all don't of it. have to say what it is. Mm -hmm. Right. Fragrance. Right. So. Exactly. Exactly. Um, hopefully, we can cut that down by about a third. With essential oil lifestyle, just with your everyday essential oil lifestyle. All right, um, eighty-four thousand chemicals are on the market, and only one percent of them have to be tested for safety. That's alarming. And then, and then I don't have a statistic for this, but how much how much of those toxins actually are reflected in the labels that we actually read? You have to really dig to really understand what the labels are. And sometimes you never know. Most of the time, you never in know. In food, even like if it oh, says spices, that's red flag for it's got gluten in it for sure. It's got MSG. MSG, for yep. sure. Yeah. It's got soy in it for sure. Yeah. But it's one of those things yeah. they can just say spices and not tell you. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Like exactly. They get away with a lot. Totally. I think Europe is very very heard like in Europe there is kind of like uh, one more than one sort chemical uh, fillers, everything you are for vision in cosmetic. Yeah. And in US, it's different. Isn't that funny? Um, yeah. So, so it's kind of crazy. Europe has spent a lot more yeah. uh, cosmetic um, yes, there is things than, than they've banned over like 1200. And in the States, it's like 300. There's a, a documentary that just hit on Netflix. Um, yeah. It's called, oh gosh, what's it called? Toxic beauty or something oh, like that. Oh yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. That one keeps coming up. Yeah. yeah. There's there's a, a, <laughs> what do you watch? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's, there's actually an app that you can get too. It's called, it's yeah. about dirt, dirty makeup. Yes, yes. yes. I've heard of that one. Yeah, yeah. You can get a You're similar right, thing so. with food. It will like you yeah. Can, yeah. There's yeah. apps you can get yeah. that will tell you and your products like demystify. Yeah. yeah, like this is this percent clean. Yes, yes, yes. yes. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, totally. Um, U.S. average annual sugar consumption. <laughs> oh, oh my God, this was really interesting. <laughs> In the early 1900s, it was about 43 to 50 pounds a year per person. In the 1920s, it was 70 to 80 pounds per year. So 20 years later, it almost doubled. In the 40s, another 20 years, 80 to 85 pounds. So not a very large increase per year. In the 80s, it was 85 to 93 pounds a year. So an increase from the 20s, not much of an increase. Well, yeah, not much. Well, 85 to 93. Yeah, it from the 20s, it still wasn't drastic. But then today, 150 to 170 pounds 
a year. They put high fructose corn yeah, syrup in was everything. Yeah. It's in bread. It's in like it's absolutely scary. everything. Oh, absolutely yes. everything. And it's the first 150 to 170 pounds oh. per person per year. Mm. And so, so we're looking at the 1900s. We're in 2020 now. It's tripled. It's more than tripled. You know, and we wonder why we're having more health problems, right? <laughs> we're not wired to be able to process that much sugar in the body. We just simply aren't. It That's wasn't a really scary visual, right? Yeah. Sugar is actually a neurotoxin. It's a neurotoxin. Why doesn't your brain work very well? Well, it's called inflammation. <laughs> inflammation from the sugared up kids. Yeah, exactly. So I'll just give a few things. Um, so where do we go from here? Um, three, if you do nothing else, three main products to be able to help you with your overall health every day, okay? Again, oils don't work in a toxic environment. Hey, Michelle, here. Take one of those. So three main things. One, life on vitality, right? We know that. Your micro, Microplex VMZ, your food nutrients, 20, 22 essential vitamins and minerals, fights free radicals with antioxidants. You know, so, so much to say about that. We also have our, um, our Alpha CRS. Um, it's our cellular vitality. It reduces um, oxidative stress to our DNA. So it, it literally helps su support the, our, our DNA makeup, supports healthy mitochondria, support, supports metabolic factors of energy production. So that's why we feel more energetic. We're taking our or alpha CRS every day, right? Um, life on vitality. Oh, yeah, yeah, life on vitality, yeah. And then the last thing is our Z omegas, our, our omega fatty acids. Um, our omegas are, are so important when it comes to your brain, your heart, and your liver. If you wanna fight heart disease, make sure you take your omegas. If you have any brain issues, right? Take your omegas, right? So that's Life on Vitality. The second product, Terrazyme. Mm -hmm. Terrazyme, digestive enzymes. Now this is something, I'm doing the cleanse right now, yeah. for those of you that are following along. Today to, is, I have to get caught day nine? Yeah. Today's day nine. Yeah, yeah, you, you don't have, yeah, you can go at your own pace. Like, there's, no, there's no such thing as behind. <laughs> oh, yay, awesome. When do you good. take it? When do you take your cleanse? So I take it, um, I try to take it 30 minutes before I eat, but if I forget, which I often do, I just take it with my, with my meal. Okay. And, and it's still going to be at, in the evening then? Is that when you do it? Or? I eat twice a day because I, um, I eat ketogenic. So I, I do it. My first meal isn't always in the morning. Sometimes it's in the early afternoon or late afternoon. So I, I take it then. And that's when I take my first dose of life on vitality. And then I do all of that again, like right around dinner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard, mm -hmm. I've heard it's, uh, some people say it's hard to fall asleep if you take the like, right of time vitality mm -hmm. before, before at night. So it, mm -hmm. it's, you know, it's, it's a very, it, it varies body. person to person. It really does. I don't have a problem with it, but I do know people who do. Mm -hmm. So you can take them both earlier. Like if you're a, a breakfast, lunch, dinner person, then I'd say take your first dose when you get up and then take the second dose, you know, before two or three, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, a, a lot of people do that. Yeah. One more question about the LLD. Yeah, um, is it's four capets? It's it's a, a four times four, four sorry four of each every day. Mm -hmm. yes. If you're if you're um, petite and everything, yes. Do you reduce it? Are you still advise that for every every person? It, it's a personal call. Um, I take full doses. I know some people are are a little more sensitive, and so they take half. So it, it's up to you. Um, I, I started. With I think I'm average. Uh, I mean, I'm short, but um, so. I'm taking two. I mean, two, two. Yeah. yeah. And how, how do you feel? I think I feel good. But Great. I think yeah. I, I feel better. <laughs> so, <laughs> it, it, try, try it. See how you feel. So if I would have to take two, two, uh, like I would day. divide would it by the morning. What about my first meal? Yes. And mm -hmm. then on and the then this and then the afternoon lunch. meal. Yeah, not the dinner if you're, if you're sensitive to the, the, the wakefulness, yeah. So a little bit about enzymes, um, digestive enzymes. Um, nearly all enzymes are proteins, nearly, um, made of amino acids. Enzymes are biological catalysts 
um, they're substances that increase the rate of chemical reactions without being used up. Does that make sense? Okay. Enzymes are also proteins that are folded into complete shapes that allow smaller molecules to fit into them. Kind of interesting, their function. You can actually go on uh, YouTube or just Google search um, doTERRA terrazyme. <laughs> the thing? Yeah. Super gross. Yeah. It's so disgusting. It you is. can watch it break down. Um, there's one of pudding, there's one of oatmeal, there's a few out there, but you can see how quickly yogurt. it breaks down. Yeah, yogurt, you can see how quickly it breaks down the food. Um, what I was gonna say about the cleanse is, okay, I'll be, I'll be really honest here. I've taken Terrazyme, but not consistently. I haven't. My home vitality and drinking my lemon every day, easy, I, I do that, that's been habit for a long time. But since I started the cleanse, I've been doing my Terrazyme with every meal, and I have so much energy. I, I, I don't get the slump in the afternoon. And I got to thinking about it and I was like, well, duh, my body's not working so hard to, di to digest. Mm -hmm. And for, for whatever reason, maybe I was just lazy or whatever, talked myself out of it. I was like, I don't want to swallow another pill. I thought, well, I don't have digestive issues. It's not about having digestive issues. It's about allowing your body to be able to do other things, <laughs> to be able to, you know, to be able to, to give it attention to, to where it can um, do other repair work. So, um, so terrazyme is, is an everyday essential, just like our life on vitality. Um, some other um, things about it, it, it improves, um, supports healthy digestion, um, metabolic processes, it replaces maltase with anti-gluten enzyme blend, um, and it increases lactase, which helps with lactose and intolerance, lactose intolerance and gas. Um, so, so there's that. Um, and just as a little side note, um, when we were talking about history and like the consumption of sugar, you know, o o since the 1900s, the world's diet drastically changed after World War II. That's when it all started, right? When for me, it's my, it's when my, my, my grandma, you know, was, was raising my mom, <laughs> you know? So, um, my, yeah, when my mom was a kid, um, the third thing, so we talked about life and mortality, we talked about terrazyme. The third thing is citrus oils in your water every day. This is a life, lifelong lifestyle choice. <laughs> I have to think if I'm making sense. Um, so uh, any citrus, it's gonna ha be really high in limonene. So that's your tangerine, your lemon, your grapefruit, your lime, your green mandarin, your wild orange. Um, grapefruit, wild orange, and tangerine, by the way, are are each more than 25% pure limonene. Which one's grapefruit, lime, and lime and, uh, grapefruit, yeah. wild orange, wild orange, and tangerine. Oh, tangerine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what that does, it helps to cut down the acid and the yeast in the body. And then it doesn't build into an overabundance of candida. All right. So citrus, we should have citrus everywhere <laughs> in our environment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so it really helps to, to yeah, alkalize. Lemon. Um, our bodies, all right? Um, <laughs> citrus oils do not dry up mucous membranes, okay? That is a oh, myth. myth. Thank you. <laughs> I was looking for that word. <laughs> that, is, that is a myth, okay? Um, skippity skip. Okay, you know what? I want to get right to, because there's so much to talk about, but th those are the, the main things that I want to talk in terms of, of, of foundational health. Now, no, when we talk... What's that? That's, that's part of our da daily thing too. He was just saying the top three things okay. in his mind. You know what I mean? Yeah. So if you did those things, it's going to help um, reduce the candida already. But yes, repopulating good bacteria is a daily too, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you're doing the 30 day cleanse, we hold off on the probiotics until the last 10 days. Um, we have the, we're, we're doing the, the terrazyme and the zendocrine. I will do the terrazyme all the time, but um, the zendocrine is for the first 10 days. Then we move to the GX assist, the actual caprylic acid cleanse. And it, there's no point in doing the, the probiotics while you're doing a cleanse. So that was, waste. Yeah, 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 you're, you're cleaning, you're cleaning house. So yeah. So, um, okay. So I wanted to talk to you now about the, um, the protocols and just kind of give you an overview. So again, 
you really need to have um, an actual guide. You need to have a book to be able to have access to all of the protocols. And, and I'm, I'm almost positive it's on Oil Life or definitely on Symphony of the Cells um, websites. Um, in the back, there is an actual index to be able to look up health issues that you might be having, okay? And what you do is you look it up and then it's going to give you protocols, suggested protocols to be able to then do, to be able to support whatever issue, yeah, that you might be having. So, so as an example, I have psoriasis, gonna be really transparent here. All right, so psoriasis takes me to page 30 and 38. And both of these protocols are, 30, big surprise, the digestive protocol for the digestive system, right? Because everything that's going on in our gut is reflected in our skin. So if we've got some candida or some stuff going on, that's gonna show up, right, in our, in our skin. The second thing um, that it suggests is that, and <laughs> I have to stop and really think about how to pronounce this, integumentary. Ooh, the integumentary system. It's our skin, right? Hair and nails. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Epidermis, dermis, hypodermis. Um, so yeah, skin, hair, nails, cuticles, um, all of that. And so those two, it's interesting that, that he starts, he doesn't start with that system for psoriasis. He starts with the gut, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's the first recommended one. And then the, the next one, the skin one, <laughs> is the next one, okay? So I, I just found that really, really interesting. Now, the other things that he has listed here, just, I'm just giving you some examples because you don't all have a book. Eczema. <laughs> eczema is very similar. So, so let's look that up. Okay. So I have an elderly friend. She's got it on her feet just, and it hurts. So oh. she was going to walk home from church. She walked oh. a block and I stopped and picked her up because oh, yeah. she, there was just no way. Yep. So... Um, pages 72 and 84. So number one, digestive system. Okay. So there's the digestive protocol, which was the one that we were just talking about before. Mm -hmm. And then the second one, lymphatic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, so that's just an example of how that book works as a resource. Okay. For, for the journal. Now, um, I like this little handout because this is kind of like an at a glance of the whole entire application book, but just right here, all in one place is a really great resource. It doesn't show you the applications, but it shows you the, the, the possible conditions um, it, within these body systems, and then all the suggested single oils, blends, and consumables, all at a glance. Is so it is so cool. names for the blends? Uh, no, the... it's the nicknames. Okay. Yeah. So I, I think that's for trademark. Okay. Yeah. So it's really great. So, so we start with the circulatory and cardio, cardiovascular system. All right. And then, um, so everything dealing with, with heart and, and, you know, your circulatory cardiovascular. So those oils, um, you know, look like Arbor Vitae. Basil, cardamom, cassia, cinnamon, cilantro, clary, sage, and he just lists all of them, right? Mm -hmm. Which is, yeah, <laughs> which is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is really, really cool. So that's going to cover your heart, your arteries, your veins, your blood, your lymph nodes, um, your kidneys. Next system is your digestive system, right? So that's going to include your, your large and small intestines, obviously, your stomach, your esophagus, liver, rectum, pancreas, gallbladder. Um, oh, so, so then he lists um, all of the possible conditions that we, we really want to support in the body. Um, acid reflux, candida, um, celiac, <laughs> cholera, right? Cirrhosis, colitis, constipation, Crohn's disease, um, diverticulitis, gastritis, like, like all of these things, right? And then, um, and then all the, the single oils. So then we go to emotions and limbic system. We go to the endocrine system, the immune system, the integumentary system, uh, the nervous system, the respiratory system, the skeletal, skeletal, muscular, and connective tissues. That's all in one category. And then the last one is the urinary. Okay. So, so cool. <laughs> I geek out over this. I just think it's so much fun. I actually, that week, um, we had a few different things going on and I was able to do, um, do this 
right away every night and practice on different people just because some people had some things going on. Um, a friend of mine um, was really struggling. Her, her daughter had just recently died. Um, she had actually been killed and she was really struggling. And so I gave her an emotional, um, an emotional one. So that would be the emotional Olympic. And, um, and she, she slept so well. My mom said they were sharing a room together at convention. <laughs> My mom said that she was snoring. She's like, good. <laughs> Cause she was finally getting rest. She's calm again. Fine. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, it's, it, it's so much fun. So the next thing I wanted to do was, oh, I wanted to walk you through specifically. Can we see where it's going? Can we see it? Can we pass the time? Oh, yes, yes, please, please, please. So pass this around and have a look at this. Yes. And um, I'm going to talk through the different um, moves that you do. When I say moves, it's not, it's not fancy guys. Don't, don't get intimidated. <laughs> it's not like the Roman touch. It's actually super, super easy. So, um, obviously when we start and I don't know if you guys can see, well, I don't have Thomas down here yet, but when he gets down here, you'll see, but you just want the face down on the massage table and they, they just need their back exposed and their feet exposed. Um, just like the Roman touch. We need to be able to access those. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Hey, Audrey, when you go back up, can you ask dad to come down? Yes. Okay. I'm just about ready for him. Okay. okay. And then um, the next thing I was going to say is um, every protocol uses a carrier oil. You use fraction and coconut oil. Am I right? And we know, we know that that's always a really great thing to use. It doesn't weaken the effects of using oils. If anything, it actually helps um, drive oils in into deeper layers of the skin um, to absorb more and, and less, less oil flashes off. So, um, so that's a good thing. So here, I'm going to just show you um, here so you guys can kind of see these different, um, different symbols here, right? And sorry, I'm not really monitoring on Facebook Live. So if you have, if you, if you have comments or whatever, I'll get to those later. But um, so you can kind of see the different symbols, right? So the first one looks like a drop, okay? And this just means your fractionated coconut oil. You're gonna apply that on the back, okay? Easy, right? The next one, the next symbol that you have when you do these protocols is the, the nose. That just means that when they're down there, face down on the table, you're going to take that oil and put it in your hands. You're going to rub your hands together and you're going to take your hands underneath the, the head cradle so they can smell. That's all that means. Really simple, right? Okay. The next one is, it looks like um, a heart <laughs> right there. So you're going to apply the oil or let them, you can put it on their hand and they can do it if they feel more comfortable with that. They're just going to apply that oil over their heart. Okay, really easy. The next one is the liver. So you see that nice little picture of a liver? <laughs> <laughs> so same thing. They're just going to take that and put that over their liver. That's just right underneath your right ribs-ish area. Um, they can do it. Um, and then um, neck and shoulders. This looks like a, a cute lady with a, a little butt, messy bun. <laughs> and you're just going to apply the oils over the neck. Neck and shoulders, there's nothing fancy about how you have to move your hands or anything. You're just gonna put them there, all right? Uh, the next one is the feet. And same thing with the feet. The feet is actually one swift movement. You're just gonna be putting the oils, swipe, swipe on each foot. Like really, really simple, okay? And then um, the, oh, the, when you have the little skeleton there, <laughs> that just means you're applying the oils on the back, right? Sorry, I just realized I wasn't showing you. <laughs> All right, so, um, and again, that's not a fancy move either. It doesn't have to go a certain way. Um, if you do decide to go one way, clockwise is preferred. Um, but otherwise, I mean, you can up, down, side, over. There's, there's nothing specific. And the, um, the last application um, is um, if you see a hand to put them on your hands. All right. And then, oh, the last one, this is optional, um, but you can see one, there's another symbol that says, um, it has kind of like a thermometer there that shows like hot. Um, this is, it's optional, but if you want to intensify whatever it is that you're doing, you do that with water or with heat, okay? Mm -hmm. So when you add water to oils, it's a driver. Like you've probably experienced deep blue by itself, but if you put it in a hot bathtub, 
whoa, is that intense? Or not just go in the shower. Or, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or peppermint, right? <laughs> it's kind of, whoa, it's going to cool you off. You don't need very much, right? Um, so you could have a steamed towel or, yeah, yeah, putting in, in your shower or hot bath, you know, something like that, or, or in a sauna. Um, it's really fun to, to do that. By the way, if you're looking for a really great place to go, local, the cave out in Cochrane is so cool. <laughs> The cave, it's a sauna, it's a spa. It's so, it's, it's beautiful, it's really, really awesome. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and do a demo now. All right, so. <laughs> Are you ready, honey? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Thomas is going to, actually, you know what, let me just pull this over here so I can see a little bit. Be better. You get it, like, close up and personal. Get, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> to close your eyes. Just go get, ahead. She's just okay. gonna CPR dummy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be wasting the oil. Yeah, I'll block you. We just a dummy <laughs> won't look. <laughs> <laughs> He's being so nice to do this. He was really embarrassed, but he shouldn't be because I think he looks great. Stop it. So. <laughs> Besides, he just there had his like birthday. That. I know. I know. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, the the protocols that I want to show you tonight, a couple. Um, actually, we'll just do, we'll probably just do one unless one of you guys want to do it, but we can, we don't have to, to video that, but I'm just going to show you guys online one. <laughs> We're going <laughs> to, so there are two different protocols that, um, and these are new, brand, brand new. So if you have an old version of Symphony of the Cells, these aren't in there. So just FYI. But um, Boyd created these because he really wanted, like I was saying earlier, brand new people to be able to have, you know, be able to, to have an application with their top 10 oils. So um, we don't know why this addressing, correct? Well, actually you do. So if you look over here, why these applications? So if you look over here, there's an explanation for each. So we call it intro number one. Intro because introduction is the top 10 oils, I think, right? So, so intro number one, the oils involved in this application allow for immune support, cleansing, healthy digestion, as well as greater flow and movement throughout the body. The oils included are beneficial for the digestion, immune, urinary, and circulatory systems. So that's, that's protocol number one. Now protocol number two, this application offers support for the physical structures of the body. It helps soothe muscle tension, promotes better airflow, as well as relieves sore muscles and joints. The oils included are beneficial for skeletal, muscular, connective, like connective tissue, immune, and respiratory systems. So, honey, between those two, do you have a preference? Oh, I was just thinking about how to pronounce integumentary. Integumentary. So, so between these two, circulatory or skeletal, muscular, connective, and immune respiratory. Two. Two. Okay. Yeah. He's flying out tomorrow to go sing in yeah. Boise, Idaho. He's going to be doing a, a big concert. And so that makes sense. So hang on one second, because I'm missing my deep blue. I doubt it all. <laughs> one second. <laughs> I have to go get the deep blue. Uh, oh, that was my fault. It's okay. You have a four-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a four-year-old. Yeah. It's not demanding at all. Yeah, I'm just glad he hasn't been screaming. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and Amy, that, as you mentioned, and um, when it's like a chronic, chronic, a chronic condition, would you do that every day, every second day, once, once a week? week once yeah, you know, um, he says that you could actually do it daily. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't do it twice a day, but you okay. could do it daily. Yeah. Okay, and the other question is, if yeah. there's nobody around, can, yes. you, can you do this to yourself? Um, I think it would be hard because you'd have it's to apply them the to big your book that you can do it by yourself. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. I didn't read it all, but it's said in the big But book it's book possible. Book. Yeah. Okay. 
I, it's way nicer if somebody cool. does it for you. But yeah, I mean, no one's around and you remember, then you need to, like, you'd like to still do it. Right? Yeah. I mean, it, I mean, can you apply oils without anybody? I mean, I, I think yes. I mean, <laughs> but what you say is just do what you can, right? It's super teachable. Like, if it's you have like a teachable years old daughter, you can. And here's the thing you can't do it wrong. This is the cool thing is that you can't, you don't need to feel intimidated because he even said like, if you have to skip an oil because you're, because of maybe a sensitivity, mm -hmm. skip the oil, but do the rest, you know? So yeah. again, like, let's yeah. say there's one the substitution list as well. Yes. Right? Yeah. yes. Isn't that cool? Yeah. 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 So, so much, so much to learn there. Okay. So we're going to do protocol two. Again, we're just going to be really clear here. This is going to be helping um, muscle tension, better airflow, which is awesome because he's singing this weekend. And um, it's gonna relieve sore muscles and joints. So skeletal, muscular, connective tissue, immune and respiratory systems. Okay, so now when you look at your little trifold here, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply to the back and to the feet frankincense. Okay, oh, I gotta, sorry, I'm gonna have to, I, I switched, I have to switch this up because I just realized I have the other protocol out. So we're gonna do, Frankincense, Melvica, Lavender, um, Breathe, <clears throat> uh, Oregano, and the Soothing Blend, which is Deep Blue, and then we're going to follow it all up with Peppermint. All right? Okay. So. Get his feet out here. Oh, sorry, honey, I'll take your socks off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sorry for getting cold for a little bit. Okay. And if we were really fancy, I'd have um, a pillow underneath his uh, ankles. Do you want to, do you want to oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? I'm not treating my own. Thanks, Sarah. I was going to say, pillow, pillow. You should have a pillow. <laughs> exactly. It's a lot more comfortable. Thank you so much. I never use that one again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. You're getting the treatment, honey. Okay. So when we do this, it's going to be, every time we have an oil, it's about five or six drops. Okay? So and it's roughly, right? If an extra one falls out, it's really not a big deal. And if you want to cut back, if somebody's feeling a little sensitive, whatever, that's fine too. Okay. So we drop them up the spine. Okay. Now, do you think it would be a good idea if you just started with a lower number okay. of drops to start out with until you, and to see if there's any sensitivities? You know, in general, I mean, I, I was there with hundreds of people. Like I'm trying to remember how many people came to the training that I went to, maybe 300 people, and there was no issue with anybody there, you know. So I mean, it's it's your call if you know if you know like go based on what you know, mm -hmm. and then yeah. Okay, then it's it's not like aromatherapy because aromatherapy you stuck with coconut oil. Right, coconut second. I know, and here the yeah. first application is me. Yeah, interesting, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So we did five or six drops. Did you see that? I, it, there's nothing fancy to it. Mm -hmm. You literally just, Not that, like that's it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then we're going to do the same thing on the feet. You just go once, twice. That's it. And then I'm going to cover his, actually, no, I'm not going to cover his feet because it takes the feet every single time. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is the fraction of an oil. <laughs> So you're just going to need more oils than Aromatouch, too. This is a lot more oils yes. than Aromatouch. Yeah. Yes, Aromatouch is only four different, or eight different oils, eight, six, five, yes. five drops five, each. Five, eight times five, 40 drops. Yes. Yeah, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, no, it's not as many yeah, as Aromatouch. It says two to three drops. Oh, two to three. Yeah. yeah, because if you put five in the back and then three on the feet, each feet. Is oh, much. two, sorry, two to three drops of each on the back, two to three drops on the feet, sorry. So five, so five to six total. Uh, sorry, yeah, okay. thank, thank you. you. Thank you, you needed extra. And wait, then five wait, wait. to six of the coconut oil. Wait, it depends yes. on which one you're doing, right? If you're doing the round two, then it's five to six. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, it's still if you're doing one, it's two to three drops 
for coconut oil yeah. five five is intro different. one is different than intro and two to three on three. and i don't think it's a big deal if you do extra fresh coconut oil honestly i mean it's so dry here and um so these yeah are you helping me no actually this okay this is yeah. Apply two to three. No, because there's yeah, one yeah, on the yeah. other side. Yeah. No, but this is oh, the yeah. 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 okay. This is for the okay. This is for the yellow one. This is for the After the first one. After the first it. one, then you add. Okay. The so there's our fractionated coconut oil, and that's just to the spine. You don't have to apply that to the feet. You don't need the fractionated coconut oil to the feet. Okay. So the next one we have is Melaleuca. Can you help me? Yes, I want to put it on. You want to put it on? Okay, we'll do. Okay, hold on. So two to three drops. Yeah, so two to three drops. One, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay. That's it. And then, then on the feet. Yeah. And when I when I put oils on the feet, you guys, um, and this is the same for Roma Touch too. I drop it on the heel because gravity makes the oil fall down anyway. And all you're doing is swipe, swipe. That's all you do. It's that easy. <laughs> yeah. The next one is lavender. Uh, oh, can I have that one? No, thanks. I want to do lavender. Okay. You want to drop it on that side? Here, you help me. Ready? Yeah, it's really hard. Okay, ready? Count. One. Two. Two. You got it. Okay. And then we're gonna do it on the feet. Drop. Drop. Now swipe. 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 Really easy. The next one is breathe, right? Yeah. Unless unless Wilson yeah. mixed it up for me. One, and two, so in three. this one, he cannot smell it. There isn't, there isn't an, uh, yeah. no. an instruction to do that yeah. one. Right. There's some emotional ones, it's though, that, the, that you do. The one that I, I had done, I actually, my eyes leaked, like, immediately. I was like, whoa, what just happened? I, I, you put oils on your, I can't remember which one it was. I'll have to go look up the protocol, but it was like oil on my heart. And then the next thing she did was like, I mean, you know, I'm just, just smelling it. And I don't know whatever really oh, said, I was just stressed out or whatever, but it struck a chord and I just started bawling. <laughs> yeah. I was like, whoa, that really worked. And it was an emotional release one. I can't remember. And so on your, what you say on your back, is it on your back or on your front? On your front. You, you do it. You can, they can drop the yeah, oils into themselves. your hand and then they can do it. Same with the liver, <laughs> right? Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Unless you want to put it on them, like if it's your boyfriend or something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, or if I really want to touch my boyfriend, I'm going to use it. I don't want to touch that because this is very central. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a very central technique. This one is right now in case it's. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Thomas. Yeah. <laughs> it's not as central as that. <laughs> it's not it's one so of my cool. adjectives. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> Look underneath, see if you can see him. Can you see it? I can't. I can't. I did it. Okay. So this is oregano. Now we know. Right. Oh, thanks. Hold on, babe. Not, not yet. We'll do that one next. Hmm. How's it feeling, Thomas? He's sleeping. Ah. Uh, <laughs> fine. I can't. Dad, do you want this oil? It's oily. <laughs> 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 it's like the creepy Dad, do you want okay. it? Can I have a bit? I need to put it on. Okay, you can put it on, but I have to open it because it's really oh, three. My hands are so. Okay, okay. okay you hold it. Ready? Here we go. Ah. Ready? Drop it on right there. Okay, hold it on. Ooh, That's what. Oh, seven. That's it. Six. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna feel this one. <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait. You got peppermint next. Yeah. <laughs> oh, deep blue really opens up the airways for me. So does digest zen. Yeah. If you ever have sinus trouble, oh, digest yeah. zen on your sinuses. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. 
works better than three. Yes, On this, this protocol, and you know, I'll, I can post this on um, on our on our um, on our essential oil group so that you can you can see it. This one's just so awesome because it's so accessible for um, for just if you have your top ten, you know. Um, so anyway, that's all I wanted to share tonight. Um, do you guys have any questions that you can think of? <laughs> We could answer right away. Okay. I mean, there's so much, so much to talk about on this topic and it's, it's so exciting. Um, oh, thanks bud. Is that my lavender? Yeah. Be careful with it. All right. Well, I'm going to sign off. Um, for those of you, um, joining us, thanks so much. Um, and have a great night.